What's up guys, welcome to the channel. This is kind of weird because I literally just uploaded and finished editing and took the last couple shots of the last video. So it's literally like 15 minutes later from the last part of the last pic, uh, video basically. Um, so you seen in the last video that I was an idiot and you know, fucking got on her and did a little burnout and uh, I broke my fucking fan, which chewed up my radiator. So, that's what I'm going to be doing this morning, is changing out this radiator radiator and this fan for Ivy's old radiator and fan. So, I um, guess I'll get started so I can go get some fucking sleep. So that was ridiculously easy. Um, I just literally undid the lower radiator hose, took the top one out completely. Pulled the old radiator out, set the new one in, and it actually sits way better than the other one. The other one was shorter, so that's why it was like it wasn't sitting in this in this mount very well. Um, and then the fan, uh, the fan wasn't even the right size for that radiator because the fan was too big. And the only reason why that was on that car or this car was because I bought a fan for Ivy and I measured it wrong um, not really measured it wrong just the measurements I wasn't including the the, uh, the shroud here so when you buy a fan like if it's a 14 inch fan um, that's how big the fan blades are not like so the fan blades plus sh the shroud and shit it was like two inches way too big so it was uh, like sitting in there right, but it was either put it in Ivy, which, you know, wasn't going to do that because that's my baby. So I put it in, uh, I think it was in Charlotte when I, when I did all that. But anyway, so that's why it was in this car. But now Ivy's going to be going through some major changes, which uh, hopefully soon I'll tell you guys about. So anyway, Ivy's radiator is in nelly and it sits way better it's not moving around or nothing the fan's actually the right size so uh i'm gonna hook these radiator hoses up run down to napa and get some coolant and then my fan wiring should be easy enough because i always use the same plugs um when i wire up my fans i always have my fans on a toggle switch so um i'll just plug it right in down there and we'll be set Goddamn short bus every fucking morning. Always looking for me. All right, take the old Chevy. It hasn't been ran in a while. Has uh, been driving race car to work. This thing's always a pain in the ass to start. It runs pretty rough for a minute. And uh, crazy, like you're gonna think, oh my god, the battery's dead. But watch this. make any sense right this thing has a 454 big block in it it pulls fucking race cars like nothing all right so radiators in both clamps are on or both uh, radiator hoses are on I always double clamp these um, radiator hoses the top and the bottom because long time ago my dad was racing one of these dirt modifieds and uh he got spun out and the upper radiator hose popped off and uh when it popped off it was like pointed right at him so he got burnt really fucking bad because it just and it was like a he said it was like a fireman's water hose spraying at him with boiling hot water so I don't fuck around. We always learn from our mistakes or our mishaps or whatever. So anytime something fails, do it better. Gotta run down to Napa real quick. If you're wondering where I got all this damage from on this truck, the door was my fault. And you can see that right now. this the 
this from my ex, who I adored so much, but he hit deer all the fucking time. So that's what that's from. truck get yourself a suburban or something like that because on the title it's considered a station wagon and a station wagon you don't need any kind of special like weight class or none of that bullshit so instead of spending like hundreds of dollars a year on registrations you only spend like you know 38 dollars a year or something and you can haul whatever the fuck you want there's no weight limits or, or, or nothing like literally in the law book or whatever it says uh you can pull whatever you can pull basically so and uh this fucking 454 she'll pull a lot of shit all right so we're all done i bled the coolant system out i got heat uh let it run for 20 minutes or so, no overheating, everything's good to go now, so this radiator is a lot thicker than the one that was in here, this is a 3 row and the one that I was using was a 2 row, uh, these these fans here, um, I can't stress this enough or, and, on how important uh, good fans are, so I always use spal fans, I don't use anything else but spal fans, unless you're using OEM stock fans, you need to run SPAL fans. Um, the normal slim fans that you would get at like AutoZone or whatever or eBay, they just, they don't, they don't cut it. They don't flow enough air. So um, that's a big thing. I always tell people because I've had all kinds of problems in the past years and years and years ago with overheating and uh, it was because I was using cheaper fans that didn't really push that much air or pull that much air um here's a fan that was on the car you see the fan blade is completely gone so um after i did that wah, 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 you know i heard like a fucking it sounded like my transmission was coming apart like it was loud obviously it was a, the fan that was just fucking it was still running obviously and ran until it couldn't run no more um so that was a little scary for a second until i realized that it was the fan that was fucked up so spal fan that's what you need right here this was the one that was too big so i had to like trim this part of the shroud out and it was just it didn't like it would it would get stuck sometimes as it was like just sitting at idle so um just the vibrations of fucking it probably just fucking yep not good bud this is another fan i had on the radiator i just put in it's a i was using it as a pusher fan on on ivy but i don't i didn't even use it ever basically i never needed to but it was there and in case i absolutely needed another fan if i was running warm or something um so i guess i'm done i can go get some fucking sleep now and i don't know what's next for this this video but I'm sure we'll find something soon I uh, can't fucking sleep I don't suppose it have anything to do with the fact that I can see my fucking cars from my bed all three of them four of them five fuck so I'm pretty upset I wasn't able to capture this on video because the GoPro fell but um, so I'll just explain it. I was cruising through town and right outside of town opens up the three lanes and I seen this diesel truck in the mirror. It was a Cummins and he was throwing coal out the exhaust because, you know, big dick. So I figured he'd want to play once it opened up in the three lanes and he did. So um, I'm getting ready here and 
at some point I like wait for him to get up next to me before I really start getting on it otherwise it wouldn't it wouldn't have been a race and then right around here you can hear his tires like he's next to me at this point and then gone disappears because I pull back by him because you know race cars are faster than diesel trucks because diesel trucks are meant for pulling shit and not for racing 90s fucking turbo DSMs so anyway sucks I wasn't able to get that on video but uh, it was worth a share I think so to end this video I figured I'd show you guys a little video of what Nelly used to look like when I first finished the car sometime last year uh, as you can see there's hardly any body panels on it in this video but the ones that I did have that were on it were like different colors like silver and black or green so she's come a long way it looks like a whole different car now I love this car did not plan on falling in love with this car as hard as I have but this car is awesome I love it um, but thanks for watching guys this is so fun to do and we'll keep creating content for you guys to watch later